Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving into a super important topic, eight signs of mini strokes in the elderly. You know, as we age, our bodies change and sometimes those changes can signal something more serious. Mini strokes or transient ischemic attacks, TIAs, are often overlooked but can be a warning sign of bigger problems down the road. We need to be advocates for our parents, our grandparents, our loved ones. Stick around to learn how to spot these signs early and keep your loved ones safe. Let's jump right in with the first sign, sudden numbness or weakness. This is one of the most common and alarming symptoms that can strike without any warning. Imagine this, your loved one is going about their day, maybe having breakfast or reading the paper, and suddenly, bam, they feel this numbness creeping in. It can be a very unsettling experience. It might be in their face, their arm or their leg, and it's often just on one side of the body. This asymmetry is a key indicator that something serious might be happening. This is not something to ignore. Immediate action can make a significant difference. This sudden onset of numbness or weakness can be a telltale sign of a mini stroke, also known as a transient ischemic attack, TIA. Think of it like this. Our brains are like intricate highway systems with blood vessels acting as the roads. These roads are crucial for delivering oxygen and nutrients. A mini stroke happens when there's a temporary blockage in one of these roads, cutting off blood flow to a specific part of the brain. This interruption can cause immediate symptoms. If that part of the brain controls sensation in the arm, boom, you get numbness or weakness. The affected area can vary, leading to different symptoms. It's like a traffic jam in your brain, and just like a traffic jam, it needs to be addressed quickly. The longer the delay, the more severe the consequences. Now, I know what you might be thinking, but Dr. Mike, what if it goes away quickly? It's a common question, but the answer is crucial. Listen, even if the numbness or weakness disappears after a few minutes, don't brush it off. These symptoms are a red flag. It's crucial to seek medical attention immediately. Early intervention can prevent more serious complications. Those fleeting symptoms could be a warning sign that a larger stroke is on the horizon. Remember, time is brain. Every second counts in these situations. The second sign we're going to cover is confusion or trouble speaking. This can be really scary to witness, both for the person experiencing it and for those around them. Imagine your loved one suddenly struggling to find the right words or their speech is slurred and jumbled. They might seem confused by simple questions or have trouble understanding what you're saying. Again, this is our brain's way of sending an SOS signal. When blood flow to the areas of the brain responsible for language and communication is disrupted, even temporarily, it can lead to these very symptoms. It's like someone hit the mute button on their ability to communicate effectively. And just like with sudden numbness or weakness, even if these symptoms are fleeting, they warrant immediate medical attention. Don't wait and see if it gets better. Early intervention is key when it comes to mini strokes. The faster we can restore blood flow to the affected areas of the brain, the better the chances of preventing long-term damage. Let's move on to the third sign, vision problems. Vision issues can be particularly alarming and should never be ignored. Our vision is precious, and any sudden changes should never be taken lightly, especially in our elderly loved ones. It's a window to the world, and any disruption can be disorienting and frightening. Imagine this, your loved one is watching their favorite TV show, and suddenly their vision blurs, or they experience double vision. This can be a very unsettling experience, making it hard to focus or enjoy their activities. They might even describe it as a curtain falling over their field of vision, or like looking through a foggy window. These are all red flags that could indicate a mini stroke. It's essential to recognize these symptoms early. When blood flow to the parts of the brain responsible for processing visual information is compromised, it can lead to these frightening visual disturbances. 
The brain's visual cortex is highly sensitive to changes in blood supply. Think of it like this. Your eyes are like cameras, and the brain is the processing center that develops the images. If the processing center is disrupted, the images become unclear. A mini-stroke affecting the visual pathways is like a glitch in the system, disrupting the clear transmission of visual signals. This glitch can cause temporary or even permanent vision problems. Just like with the previous signs, even if these vision problems are temporary, it's crucial to seek immediate medical attention. Early intervention can make a significant difference. Don't wait until tomorrow. Don't wait until next week. Time is of the essence. Every second counts when it comes to protecting your loved one's health. Prompt action can prevent further complications and ensure better outcomes. Dizziness or loss of balance. Moving on to the fourth sign, dizziness or loss of balance. We've all felt a little dizzy at some point, but when it comes to mini strokes, this symptom takes on a whole new level of seriousness. Imagine your loved one suddenly feeling unsteady on their feet, like the room is spinning around them. They might lose their balance easily or even feel like they're going to faint. This sudden onset of dizziness or loss of balance can be a sign that a mini stroke is affecting the areas of the brain responsible for balance and coordination. It's like their internal gyroscope is malfunctioning, throwing off their sense of equilibrium. Now, I know what you might be thinking. But Dr. Mike, couldn't dizziness be caused by other things, like dehydration or low blood sugar? You're absolutely right. However, when it comes to mini strokes, we're talking about sudden, unexplained dizziness that comes out of nowhere. It's not their usual lightheadedness, it's something different, something more intense. Severe headache. Let's talk about the fifth sign, a severe headache. We all get headaches from time to time, but a headache associated with a mini stroke is different. It's usually described as a sudden intense headache that comes on without warning. Imagine this, your loved one is going about their day and suddenly, bam, they're hit with this excruciating headache, like someone's hitting a gong inside their head. It's not their usual tension headache. It's something much more severe. This type of headache can be a sign that a blood vessel in the brain has ruptured or is blocked, leading to a mini stroke. It's like a pressure valve in their brain has gone haywire, causing this intense pain. Now, I know what you might be thinking, but Dr. Mike, how can I tell if it's a regular headache or a headache caused by a mini stroke? That's a great question. Here's the key difference. A headache associated with a mini-stroke is often accompanied by other symptoms we've discussed, such as sudden weakness, confusion, or vision problems. It's never just the headache in isolation. You might notice that they suddenly can't move one side of their body, or they might have trouble speaking or understanding speech. These additional symptoms are crucial indicators. So, if you ever see someone experiencing a severe headache along with these other signs, don't hesitate. Seek medical help immediately. Time is of the essence in these situations. Remember, recognizing these signs early can make all the difference in getting the right treatment and potentially saving a life. Moving on to the sixth sign. Trouble walking. As we age, it's natural for our mobility to change, but sudden difficulty walking can be a red flag for a mini stroke. Imagine your loved one suddenly struggling to walk straight, stumbling or feeling uncoordinated. It's like their legs have turned to jelly and they've lost control over their movements. This sudden change in gait can be a sign that a mini stroke has affected the areas of the brain responsible for motor control and coordination. It's like the communication lines between the brain and the legs have been disrupted, leading to these walking difficulties. Now, I know what you might be thinking. But Dr. Mike, couldn't trouble walking be caused by other things like arthritis or a muscle strain? You're absolutely right. However, when it comes to mini strokes, we're talking about a sudden onset of walking difficulties that can't be explained by other factors. It's not their usual stiffness. It's something different, something more concerning. Let's talk about the seventh sign. Difficulty understanding. 
Communication is key, and when someone suddenly struggles to understand speech, it can be a sign of a mini-stroke. Imagine this. You're talking to your loved one, and it's like they're not processing your words. They might ask you to repeat yourself multiple times, or they might seem confused by simple questions. This sudden difficulty understanding speech can be a sign that a mini-stroke has affected the areas of the brain responsible for language comprehension. It's like the brain's language processing center is experiencing technical difficulties, making it hard to decode spoken words. Now, I know what you might be thinking, but Dr. Mike, couldn't hearing loss also cause difficulty understanding? Absolutely. However, when it comes to mini strokes, we're talking about a sudden change in comprehension that's not related to any pre-existing hearing problems. It's like someone flipped a switch and suddenly understanding speech becomes a challenge. Finally, let's discuss the eighth sign, sudden fatigue. We all feel tired from time to time, but a sudden, overwhelming wave of fatigue can be a warning sign of a mini-stroke. Imagine this. Your loved one is going about their day and suddenly, they're hit with this intense exhaustion, like they've just run a marathon. They might have trouble staying awake or feel completely drained of energy. This sudden onset of fatigue can be a sign that a mini-stroke has affected the areas of the brain responsible for regulating energy levels and alertness. It's like their brain's battery has suddenly drained, leaving them feeling completely depleted. Now, I know what you might be thinking. But Dr. Mike, couldn't fatigue be caused by other things, like stress or lack of sleep? You're absolutely right. However, when it comes to mini-strokes, we're talking about a sudden, unexplained fatigue that's out of character for your loved one. It's not their usual tiredness. It's something different, something more concerning. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And please, share this information with your friends and family. You never know, it could save a life. Remember, Recognizing the signs of a mini-stroke early on is crucial for getting prompt medical attention and potentially preventing a more serious stroke from occurring. Don't hesitate to call 911 or head to the emergency room if you or a loved one experience any of the symptoms we've discussed. Stay healthy and take care of your loved ones.